हेलो फ्रेंड्स मै सेल डॉक्टर संदीप गाड़ेकर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर अध्यापक महाविद्यालय वड़गाव मवल पुने टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेन्डन्सी इन दैट वी विल सी इन डिटेल मीन मेडियन एंड मोड यू आर वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर संदीप गाड़ेकर प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस बेल आईकॉन फॉर फर्दर वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग educational statistics topics to be cover from this presentation concept of measures of central tendency types of measures of central tendency concept and calculation of each major characteristics and uses of each major concept of central tendency the tendency of scores attracting towards the midpoint or center of a series is called the central tendency of scores look at the picture the scores are attracted towards center measures of central tendency means values which may be taken to represent an entire distribution of scores are usually found near the center of the data when arranged in order of size look at the picture here it is one graph is shown and there are three measures attracted towards the center that means mean median and mode are attracted towards center of a series that means they are the measures of central tendency types of central tendency there are three types of measures occurred in central tendency first mean second median and third mode we will see each measure in details mean the arithmetic mean is the amount secured by dividing the sum of values of the atoms in a series by their numbers look at the picture here it is three scores are given 2 7 and 9 and the mean of this series is equal to 6 formula of mean when ungrouped data was given or raw scores are given then calculate mean is equal to summation of x upon n where m for mean summation is equal to symbol of summation x is equal to individual score and n is equal to total number of scores this formula is used for calculation of mean when ungrouped data was given we will see an example of compute mean of given data here it is we have given data 20 25 18 22 and 20 then solution for this we use formula mean is equal to summation of x upon n then by adding these all five numbers we get 105 upon 5 then mean of this ungrouped data is equal to 21 characteristics of mean mean represents of central or typical value of data set mean is arithmetic in nature mean influenced by outliers fast and easy to calculate most reliable and stable measure of central tendency mean is a gravitational mean of series the uses of mean to determine the average analysis of set of values it uses to determine almost every kind of data it is useful to calculate m combination standard deviation and correlation coefficient calculation for mean assume mean method when group data was given then formula for calculating mean is equal to m is equal to assume mean plus in the bracket summation of fd upon n into i then next measure of central tendency is median the midpoint of given frequency distribution is called as median 50% score distributed above the midpoint and 50% distributed below the midpoint of frequency distribution look at the figure here it is 50% score distributed above the midpoint and 50% distributed below the midpoint of frequency distribution calculation of median when ungrouped data was given or raw scores are given we use the formula for finding the value of median n plus 1 upon 2 step 1 arrange raw scores in ascending or descending order step 2 for calculating median find the value of number or rank in series so we calculate here median 
when raw scores are given here it is raw scores are 30 42 43 45 57 48 and 52 by arranging ascending order we use the formula for finding the value of median n plus 1 upon 2 here it is 7 raw scores are given so we have 7 plus 1 upon 2 then the value of rank 4 from left or right is midpoint or median of the series that is median is equal to 45 formula for calculation of median when group data is given then median is equal to l plus in the bracket n by 2 minus fb of 1 fm bracket complete into i characteristics of mean it is midpoint of a series it is less stable and reliable as compared to mean it is situated at midpoint of class interval so it is pointable it is very easy to calculate when raw scores are given means ungrouped data was given uses of median when we want midpoint of series or data then median is very useful it is very useful for calculation of quartile deviation and percentile rank then third measure of central tendency is mode the scores in distribution which have occurred highest frequency is the value of mode look at the picture here it is raw scores are given 6 3 9 6 6 5 9 3 the repeated number was 6 so here it is mode is equal to 6 as compared to other scores 6 occur 3 times so in this series mode is equal to 6 the mode is the most frequency occurring score in the distribution calculation of mode when ungrouped data or raw scores are given here it is example the raw scores are given 2 4 5 7 5 3 5 8 7 9 5 4 here it is mode is equal to 5 because of 5 occurs 4 times in this series so the mode of this given series is equal to 5 calculation of mode when group data was given means class interval and frequencies are given then calculate mode mode is equal to 3 mdn minus 2 mean where mdn is equal to l plus in the bracket n by 2 minus fb upon fm bracket complete into i and mean is equal to am plus in the bracket summation of fd upon n into i by these two formulas we get mode means mode is equal to 3 times mdn minus 2 times mean so we can use this following formulae for calculating mode when group data was given characteristics of mode it indicates the item of greatest frequency in series is an average easy to determine by observing or inspecting when ungrouped data was given mode is not affected by extreme scores it is easy to understand uses of mode when we require quick and approximate measure of central tendency then calculate mode when we need to know the most often recurring score or value of the atom in series when we have graphical representation of distribution then it is very simple to find mode summary of this presentation or video we see concept and types of measures of central tendency in details in that we see concept of mean median and mode in details their formula and calculation when raw scores are given means ungrouped data was given then we see their characteristics and uses in details references for measures of central tendency use dandekar wn evaluation in school pune sri vidya publication then another one garrett yechi statistics in psychology and education delhi surjit publication then use Mangal SK Statistics in Psychology and Education, Delhi PHI Learning Private Limited. These three books are very useful for 
more information regarding measures of central tendency thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and press bell icon for further videos regarding educational statistics and other information thank you once again